welcome back to my channel. So for today, it's not going to be a makeup tutorial in that day. Today we're actually going to be doing something a little bit different here in my channel. So I'm going to be doing a little review on the Miss Ball Charcoal Detox Modeling Mask Set. I picked this up at Ulta and I'm going to place the price somewhere around the screen here. It'll pop around. And I'm also going to be uh, probably leaving a link down below for if you guys want to try this out for yourselves. I have not tried it just yet, but that's why, that's why we're doing this video. So, I saw it at Ulta and um, I've been kind of looking for like peel-off type masks. And I saw this one and I was like, let's do it, let's get it. This is what it looks like. As you can see in the front, it, uh, it's just kind of like the description. Then on this side, it kind of tells you what it's about, why it works, uh, what it comes with. In the back of the box, it's all the ingredients and the company name. And then on the other side comes with the instructions. So that's why my face is fully bare right now and I have my hair up and everything because I just got out of the shower and I just kind of blow dried my hair. So ignore that. Pretend I'm wearing like this amazing hairdo and awesome clothes and not just a regular gray t-shirt <laughs> So let's open this bad boy up. Ooh, jeez Jesus. Okay, so I'm opening the box and as you can see it does come with It is the step one modeling gel and then the step two charcoal detox Oh no, the modeling booster powder. So you're going to be mixing this together. It also comes with a little plastic spatula and a little nice plastic cup. To be honest, I'm probably going to keep this for myself because I always need a spatula. So let's read what this supposedly claims. It says, how it works. Formulated with natural charcoal powder and soothing botanical extracts, this mask deep cleans pores and softens skin. When the modeling gel and powder are mixed together, they create a modeling mask that molds to the contours of the skin to deeply cleanse pores by absorbing excess dirt and oil. Once set, the charcoal detox modeling mask peels off to reveal a smoother, clearer complexion. Ooh, so this better do wonders on my skin because my skin, my type is kind of a combo skin but more heading to the dry side. Uh, I'm very oily in the sides of my nose and a little bit on my T-zone and everywhere else it's just extremely dry. So I think we should start. So let's go with the instructions. So it does say that you have to have a clean dry face. So basically don't have makeup on, don't have any oils. Um, yeah, so, so let's get that started. Also, again, do excuse the way I look. I have my uh, Tora Karate t-shirt and then I have my hair up because I do have karate later, but I kind of wanted to do this review might as well. So it says step one, open the modeling gel pouch, which is the step one, which is this one. And it says, and pour into the enclosed cup. All right, so this is a little plastic cup and then the spatula and it says pretty much to open the first step, which is this one. Hopefully I'm getting it and it's in focus and everything. It's the step one. So we're gonna pour that into the cup. I'm just gonna squeeze it out. Oh, very slimy and goopy. Okay. So you're gonna be taking this step two, which is right here, and it's just a boosting powder to pretty much activate the mask. Oh, wow, a lot of, a lot of smoke. <laughs> okay, we're gonna pour that in. Oh my heavens, that's a lot of product. The next step is just to mix, 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 mix until it's a thickened paste. Oh God, <laughs> mixing until it forms a thick paste. I'm, I'm already getting powder everywhere. Oh, this is interesting. Do you, do you guys see that? It, it's so weird. I feel like I'm making slime, like I'm back in elementary and I'm creating slime. I'm trying to do this softly because I don't want it to get everywhere. Oh, that looks so... It smells weird. I'm not a big fan of... It's not strong. Not that I've smelt it yet. But still. So yeah, I'm still mixing. And it just pretty much says to smooth and spread the paste onto clean dry face using the spatula, avoiding the eye and lip area. So let's 
start, I guess. I'm just gonna... Oh god, it's so cold. Okay. Oh, it feels interesting. So this is supposed to be a peel off. So I'm gonna try to make it a little bit thick. How are you supposed to spread this evenly? Okay. Yeah, <laughs> getting in there. Okay. And it's kind of hard doing it with such a large spatula, in my opinion. But, gotta do what we gotta do. Just doing a thick ass layer. I wish, the only thing I would say is if I'm still gonna have this much product left, I wish you would be able to somehow save it. That way it wouldn't be just a one time use. But now it just pretty much says to wait about 20 minutes until this sets and then you peel it off. So currently it is 2.57. I'm gonna be doing this It's Judy, oops, sorry. I'm gonna be doing this It's Judy time style. At 2.17, it's when I'm gonna come back. I'm kinda let this set. So, what am I do in the meantime? Wait a minute, I don't read. Whoa. So this is still drying. Um, right, uh, it still feels very cooling. Um, I kind of feel a little bit tingly as well. It's very, very thick. I also noticed that it's very glittery, so I'm like, it, it looks kind of cool. I still had, I still have, oh, oh wow, that dried very quick. Oh, look at that. I guess it will, oh shit. I guess it will peel off, cause look, it dried instantly. And it became this jelly texture. I'm gonna pull it out. See, like it's not like sticking to my hands or anything. So I guess that's how it's gonna dry. So it's kind of like a rubbery mask, if anything. All right, it is now 317, so let's start peeling this bad boy off. Okay, I'm gonna just, oh, okay, that was pretty easy. I'm gonna start peeling it upward, because supposedly like that's the right way to peel stuff. I'm gonna bring, I, this is not painful whatsoever. Since it's like a rubber mask. Eh. Okay. Not painful at all. It feels like you're peeling off a sticker. Kind of like that. Ooh. Forehead. Ugh. So this is what it ends up looking like, like this nice and rubbery substance. Alright, so I've managed to pretty much take off everything. I kind of did have to go uh, around the edges a little bit and kind of uh, like take them off with my nail, but um, nothing too hurtful with, to my skin or too hard or whatever. My overall thoughts of the Miss Spa Charcoal Detox Modeling Mask Set. Um, I pretty much, I think it's a good product. I think it would be a nice product to just, you know, try it out with your friends if you're just having like a girls night out or you just want something that's not too intense and you just want like a little quick cleanup for your skin because right after I took it off, my skin did feel a lot smoother. It does feel cleaner. It kind of does look a little bit cleaner. And if, maybe it's just me or something. But my skin does look a little bit brighter, and I do like that. And even a little moisturized. Is that kind of weird? So, because I'm, I'm looking up close in like my mirror and whatever, and my pores are nice and clean. Like I had a lot of blackheads, and they're not there anymore. So I think, I think it's it. Uh, the mask did uh, its job, and I'm very, very proud of it. So. Um, I know a lot of people are going to be pointing out, oh look, it left irritation in your nose and you have like irritation in your skin. That's my natural skin. I have a hyperpigmentation in some areas. I'm like very red around my nose area um, since I'm very pale. I have like very visible dark eye circles, you know, I have like a little bit uh, 
uneven skin tone with redness and then you can see my veins that's just my natural skin like the mask did not cost this whatsoever so if you guys want me to review anything that maybe you'd want to see in this channel leave it in the comment box below I'll go ahead and do it for you all also if you enjoyed this type of video because I know this is um, like my second review video make sure to hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and click the post notification to be updated on when I upload a new video every single Friday so hopefully you all enjoyed this thank you all so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one bye guys